this question, we need to work out how many stereoisomers we have for this compound here. So let's start by drawing this out. So we need to bear in mind for our stereoisomers that we've got two different types of stereoisomers to look out for. We have geometric stereoisomers, which occur across alkene carbon-carbon double bonds. And we also have optical isomers, which occur when there's a chiral carbon centre. And a chiral carbon centre is one where you've got four different groups attached to a carbon overall. So looking at this compound here then, what we can see is that we've got two different double bonds here. So thinking about our stereoisomers, we're going to get stereoisomers for this double bond here, this region, but we're not going to get them for this end region. And the reason why is because this end one over here has got two of the same group attached to one carbon. Therefore, this will not have E or Z isomers overall. Now, the second type of isomerism we need to look for is going to be our optical isomerism. So let's see if we have any carbon centres. So we're looking for a carbon with four different groups attached, and there's one here in the middle. So therefore, in total, we've got two stereoisomers from that double bond and two stereoisomers from that chiral carbon centre. Therefore, our answer is going to be B, four stereoisomers in total. And that's how you answer this question.